Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Power Apps Filter Gallery by Radio Button. First of all, open your Power Apps with your respective Microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a blank canvas of just click on the create button. Here you can select blank app and choose blank canvas app and click on the create button and provide the app name. And here you can see by defaultly format as tablet then click on the create button. While working with Power Apps Gallery controls, sometimes we need to filter the Power Apps Gallery by using different controls. Now I would like to show you how to filter the Power Apps Gallery by radio button control. There are two ways to filter the Power Apps Gallery by radio button. One is from collection and another one is from SharePoint online list. First I will show you how to filter the Power Apps Gallery by drop down using collection. To create a Power Apps collection, just click on the app object from the left navigation and set its on start property like. Here you can see this is my collection name like collection event registration and inside this I have added different columns and rows to store the records. And you should remember after creating the collection just go to the app object. Here click on the run on start property to get the created collections and if you want to see the created collections just go to the variable section and here expand the collection and click on the view table option. Here you can see this is my created collection records. Now I want to display these records on a gallery control and filter the gallery based on the radio button selection. For that, go to the default screen. Here insert a radio button control. Then set its item property code like. Here you can see I am using distinct function to remove the duplicates in collection. And collection registration is my Power Apps collection name and gender is the choice column. And if you want to change the layout, just go to the layout property. Here you can change the layout option either in vertical or horizontal. And here you can also change the font size. And change the radio button name. Now insert a gallery control. and make it as alignment correctly. And change the layout option as per your needs. Now set its items property code like. Here the filter function is helps to filter the Power Apps collection records and collection event registration is my Power Apps collection name and gender is the collection choice field and radio choice is the radio button control name. Once your app is ready just click on the save button and click on the publish button. Now click on the preview button. Here select the radio button choice value like mail. See here the gallery will filter each record from a power apps collection based on the radio button selected value. Next I will show you how to filter a Power Apps Gallery by radio button control using a SharePoint online list. 
see here this is my sharepoint online list as product details and inside this i have added different columns with various data types now i want to add this records on a gallery control and filter the gallery control based on the radio button selected value for that go to the power apps and connect the respective sharepoint online list to the power apps for that go to the data section here select the add data and select your sharepoint and choose your respective sharepoint online site next to select your respective sharepoint online list like product details then click on the connect button now add a another blank screen now insert a gallery control then set its item property as sharepoint online list now insert a radio button control then set its item property code like and here you can see this is my sharepoint online list as product details and manufacturer is my sharepoint online choice field and if you want to change the layout of your radio button just go to the layout property here you can change the layout option as horizontal and you can also change the font size but if you want to add a value like all to display all records on the gallery control for that go to the app object from the left navigation and set its on start property like here you can see this is my collection name like collection products and distinct function is helps to remove the duplicates in power apps collection and product details is my sharepoint online list and this is my sharepoint online choice field and you should remember whenever you create a power apps collection just go to the app object here select the run on start property to get the created collection now select the radio button control and change the items property like see here this is my collection name like collection products and you can see all option is available on the radio button control similarly click on the gallery control and change the items property like here you can see this power apps if function is helps to evaluate multiple unrelated condition and radio manufacturer is my power apps radio button name now save and publish the app and click on the preview button and select the any value from the radio button control when the user selects any value from the radio button the gallery control will display all records based on the radio button selected value like this yes this is all about how to filter a power apps gallery by radio button control I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you